All right, so what I want to show you guys today is a, a really easy two-color camouflage you can do at home. Um, the paints I'm using, just the dark brown, chocolate brown, Rust-Oleum Camo brand paint, and the light green. The first thing you're going to want to do after you're picking your two colors um, is make a stencil with material that's found around you or whatever you want the pattern to look like. I just gathered some pine needles, and as you can see I've used this one before. Uh, you want to make sure you have more than you think you'll need. You want a pretty thick amount, and I guess if you look through the pine needles you'll see there's not a whole lot of cardboard showing, um, and then I just duct tape them together on both sides. Uh, today we'll just be painting this section of cardboard, and then at the end of the video I'll show uh, a gun stock I painted with this same setup. So what you want to do is begin by painting about a two inch wide strip of each color across whatever you're deciding to paint. So I'll go ahead and get that painted. And, uh, so I got the colors laid down here. Um, you don't need to be real careful with the, the width of your strips. As you can see this one's quite a bit wider than this one. Um, in my opinion the camouflage doesn't need to be real symmetrical. So what you're going to do next is you'll take your stencil and over your darker color you'll lay the stencil and then spray for example I'll be using the the light green over the brown section painted and then when I'm over the green I'll use the brown green brown green brown and this gives a real good shadowing effect um, so I'll go through real quick and paint that and we'll uh, look at the finish, finish. So here is the finished product. Um, as you can see, you can't really tell the diagonal stripes where they were. I mean, if you look really close and new, you might be able to see. Um, but as you can see, it looks really good with uh, the different different patternings. Um, and the little scuffs right here is because I got I didn't let the paint dry, and I just moved my stencil too quick over it. Um, but yeah, really quick easy effective camouflage you can do uh, and I'm gonna post at the end of this like I said the picture of a gun stock I did because it's kind of hard to tell uh, camouflage how it looks on you know a flat piece of cardboard looks a little better on a, a, a rifle I think so yeah stay tuned uh, for more videos and I hope you enjoyed this